Hey guys, if you want to stick around for the next 19 minutes, I will show you how I wasted an entire weekend and ended up with only just this bracket. Not really, but some of you have been asking for longer format videos showing some of the creative process and to get a little bit more in-depth in some of the build decisions that I've made. So stick around and watch me get tool angry. Well, I think what we need here is a brush guard and light bar and roof rack. So I think that's what we'll do next. Went over to onlinemetals.com, picked us up some metal. So let's get this unloaded and start planning this thing out. Well, since there's not a straight line on this thing at all, I think we get to go buy another tool. <laughs> Okay, to solve the non-straight linear problem we've got here, non-straight linear, whatever. Got ourselves a tube roller. <laughs> Cut this thing open and make some, make some magic happen. Huh, that doesn't smell at all. Normally this stuff just reeks of cosmoline. Two inch rollers. So these inch and a half. Those would be the ones we're going to use. Let's make some. Let's make some mistakes. Ruin some tubes. All right. Next. Oh. All the seas are mighty bad. <laughs> Somebody should not let me have a camera. Ugh. Jeez. That's got some Venus Schweiner sliding on there. Ich nehme da rein, but yeah, I don't know what that is. Blah 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 blah. Parts to shred, man, herb, herb, and herb. Oh. Well, so that comes right down to you must change rollers to fit the closest size your tubing will bend. Okay. Okay, let's put some new rollers in. Mount it to our bench. Call it a day. Jeez, sort of got a chunk out of it. Jeez, that is beat up. I'm assuming there's a set screw in that guy. Okay, yep, yeah. there's set screws. Holy crap, they freaking. Way to go, guys. How they put that in there. Jeez. Okay, so not top quality, but come on, it's Harbor Freight, what do you expect? You look like a half inch bolt would work just fine. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to anchor that thing to the table with clamps. Sounds like a plan. Well, this thing is one sloppy monkey here, so we're going to go ahead and shim that out. Could just throw the washers on the inside. Okay, well apparently the washers go on the inside so that it gets all the slop out of it, because that was pretty disgusting. Well, I've never used a tubing roller before, so let's learn together. <laughs> okay. Well, I decided to get a different microphone, so let's see if this thing works out, and if it sucks, we'll be angry and I don't know nobody actually says anything about putting a center line on your work but I would imagine you'd want to keep it from twisting so I'm just gonna put a little center line on there okay oh that does twist like crazy 
Ooh, good to know. <laughs> See if it twists the other way when it comes back. Oh, it does. Ooh, okay. That's good to know. Hmm. Okay, let's figure out how to fix that. So that tells me that the center roller is not in line with the other two rollers. That center roller is this way. So we gotta shim the center roller back. Okay. Which is, oh, that's my fault. Because I shimmed the slop out of it earlier. Let's take the shim I put in there out. I do not like that. So what if we put a clamp on here so that we could watch, put a clamp on the end so we can watch if that thing is twisting or not. Because that line is way out of whack. Huh, does it right at the middle. What if I ran a bar no, because as soon as that thing starts climbing, oh, I could put a bar on the side, put the clamp this way, just run it right up against that so that it doesn't move. Stupid like a fox. No, just stupid. Okay, so. Okay, so from the bottom we need negative two degrees to zero, graduating up to 30 degrees. I'm just going to do this by eye. Okay, so what we ended up doing is drilling out the shaft, retapping the actual bear or the uh, roller, and then just running some quarter twenty bolts in there and pinning the drive shaft to the to the thing instead of actually just using it to using pressure. Now we have some actual pins in there. So let's try this again. to spin those it would have had to shear those bolts out okay we got some quarter 20 grade 8 bolts I'm gonna see if those work those too small Let's see if we can prevent this thing from shearing those off <laughs> Okay, so the front and passenger side front brush guard matches up now, so that's good. Now we just need to figure out how we're going to mount them on the truck. Probably hang them off the top with a big long, I don't know what that thing's called, pipe clamp, jeez. All right, 
let me show you uh, prototype number one and why we're going to throw it away. So, so we have a bracket, and we throw a pipe in, and it sits like this, and the other pipe comes across, joins in here, wow, we put a bend at the end and it joins in, but I just don't like that, because I don't want a whole lot of surface area on the front here, and this is going to be a total pain in the butt to weld. So what I'm thinking now is instead of having a plate bent like this where I have to gusset this to keep it, the weight of it from just shoving it down, you know, bending it down, I'm thinking I take a three inch piece and I bend it like this. So I just have a flat spot, flat piece to weld to this side, bend it on the other side, flat piece to weld to the other side of the bar, and then I can actually run, then I can still get to my nuts. <laughs> still get to my bolts through the top and bottom. And I don't like the way this thing sits against the truck because the truck's got a little bit of a curve like this and I'd, I'd have to bend this or I'd build it up on either side, probably with a rubber gasket or something. So that's where my thought process is. Ah, all right. Failed attempt number two. Kind of get a look for how we're starting out here. I still have my pipe clamp up top here, holding onto my other pipe clamp, <laughs> which is suspending that bar. And then I have it just stood off an inch and a half from the cab with uh, some, oddly enough, inch and a half small magnets, welding magnets. Just like that. So we're one foot off of the bumper. Kind of starting to like the look of that. Of course, we can't really see too well. But yeah, kind of like that. We'll go with that. So let's, uh, let's build a bracket for right down here. Probably a six inch chunk with a piece coming out. And then we'll, uh, probably sink it into the door with, um, I'm thinking we're going to go with rib nuts. Yeah, I think we'll go with rib nuts. So I'm thinking what's going to look the best on this thing is like a six inch plate. So I'll go from here to here, bent out, and then I'll form it to this, drill some holes in it to make it look pretty and weld it on there. Okay, so what I want to do here, I want something different. I don't want just a bent plate. Two holes, one there, one there, probably half inch, one inch. Structure would be still pretty good. Yeah. Gotta stop filming, because if I, if I hit the center punch, it, uh, she kills the memory card on this thing. A little bit of perspective shift. I had to move you to the next table over.
right I just laid that onto something just pounded that until it bent over probably worked better there instead of pounding it to make it look better just rounded the edges chamfered these chimfeared chimpulud so now we need to bow that guy this centerpiece needs to bow like this doable okay getting closer still doesn't line up a hundred percent and i saw that move. how about we put one in let's drill one and the other is tight shaw If I can do this. Okay, now I need something rubber. <laughs> that thing is obviously magnetic now. Nice. It's all sucked up against the sheet metal. And the way I did that was by sticking a couple of magnets on either side. All right, let's switch back over to the other camera. Okay, let's double check and make sure that we are still seated with that on the other side. Okay, double check that on the other side. See how it looks. That looks delicious. Cool. Nice and smooshed. That looks awesome. Now we'll stick the other ones. Stick the plate on there with a bolt. Well, I don't know how much that last clip we caught because the uh, clamp decided to take let loose and the camera went flying and busted the whole side of the camera off. So if any of this is sounding crappy, that's probably the reason why. Well, and there we go. Just like we showed at the very beginning, uh, this is the bracket that we've gotten so far. So we're gonna make another one for the other side, but some people have been asking for a longer format with uh, more of the creative quote unquote process. Uh, so this, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video or want me to go back to the shorter format, just leave me a comment and let me know. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. I'll go ahead and put a link for any of the uh, RivNut and stuff like that in the uh, description down below. Um, I won't put a description or a link for the tubing roller because that thing is really kind of a piece of crap. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Nothing quite punctuates a wasted day like three fingers of bourbon.